bad advice. Really, really bad advice. I should have been thinking that when the first person said it, or the second, or the third, or even the eighth. But nope, I listened to what mainstream thinking said, and guess what? It bit us in the butt in a major, major way. Oh, if I had that time to do over. Hey y'all, this collab was started by SMAC at Gold Dig Into Happiness, which I love her channel name, by the way. I uh, really wanted to participate in this collab, but because Melina's birthday party was last weekend, I knew that I wouldn't be able to get it out in time. So I asked if I could post late and she was okay with it. So here I am a week after the actual collab, but I did it. As always, I made a playlist of all the participants. So if you'd like to binge watch everybody's videos all at once, you know, straight through, where you go ahead and click play and lean back and watch, then go ahead, binge watch. It's right on my channel. Down the road, I actually planned a series called uh, Learn From My Mistakes, where I'm gonna cover the topic that I'm going to touch on today. In, and this topic will definitely be one you'll hear on several occasions because there was so much wrong with the decision we made in this particular instance that I feel like hopefully if I can just reach one person who's in the same sort of situation we're in, it may actually help. In the Learn From My Mistakes series, I'll try and include pictures in the videos so you can actually see everything that we went through because, you know, I'm a visual person. I think seeing is believing kind of thing. But for now, I'm just going to tell you about it because uh, I got to find those pictures because they're from many, many years ago. A little backstory. When Mauricio and I first got married, we moved from Columbia, the country, uh, to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And that alone is enough to put a strain on a new marriage. We had no idea how long we would be in Louisiana. But we knew we'd be there at least three years. I was kind of, I was 37-ish, and I had never actually owned my own place. And I had house fever bad. I wanted a new house. Everyone kept telling me that I needed to own my own house as a tax write-off. And now that we were married, we really needed to own a house. And I wanted a house, so of course I listened. And I was always a financial moron, so I kind of figured everyone else knew more than I did about finances, so that made it extra like push to do it. I was never fantastic with my money. I always paid my bills on time and saved for retirement, and I always thought I was doing okay, but I was never making huge strides or saving large amounts of money. I can actually even remember a time when I was in my mid-20s when I almost was bragging, I was joking, but almost in like a bragging sort of way, that I actually had no idea how much I brought home in every paycheck and that I never looked. If I could go back in time and bitch slap that girl, I would. I really would. So oh, I listened to everybody's advice and we bought a house. And this is the worst advice I have ever gotten. Never, ever, ever buy a house before you're truly ready. And ready means whatever Dave Ramsey says is ready to buy a house. You have 20% down, your house payment is 25% or less of your, your take home pay. Listen to Dave, he knows. His advice you can take. My friend's advice, don't take that. We did have some money for a down payment, but nowhere near 20%, and we got a 30-year mortgage. The total payment of our mortgage was around 30%, so close, but a little bit over. And there was no way we had a fully funded emergency fund. I'd be impressed if we even had like $1,000, maybe $2,000, I don't know, but we didn't have much. Nothing about this purchase would have ever been okay with Dave Ramsey nothing. And guess what? Just as Dave always says, when you put yourself in that sort of financial situation, you know Murphy's gonna come. It's like the law. Get what I did there? Murphy law. I know, I'm hilarious. And Dave also says when Murphy moves in, he comes with his three cousins, broke, desperate, and stupid. And guess what? Murphy and his three cousins, they all camped out in my living room and they refused to leave. I'm not going to get into the gory details in this video, but we bought a reasonably priced house. A little high for our income, but not ridiculous. I mean, I've seen a lot worse, but it was reasonable. 
it could have been done if we didn't have any debt. Shortly after we bought it, when Murphy moved in, our house became that house from the money pit. Have you ever seen that movie? If not, you should watch it. It's a pretty funny movie. Unless, of course, you're living it. So just like a little sneak peek into what was going on, some of the little things that we had. We had a roof line leak in our house so that wasn't caught on an inspection. So every time it rained, our living room filled up with water. And when I say it filled up, I mean, I actually kept rain boots on the stairs. Like not even the ground, but on the first stair. So when I went down to get my coffee in the morning, I could uh, put my boots on and walk through my living room to go get my coffee. So now when somebody gives me financial advice, I kind of smile and nod my head. This is what I do literally. And I think to myself, what would Dave tell me to do in that situation? And then I go do what Dave says. If you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya!